Okay guys, I am back. I have done everything. <laughs> um, oh, everything apart from Inca Remnant. Okay, so I have cut everything out. I have inked around everything too, apart from that one. Oh no, I already did that. Went around that with both. I still need to go around it with vintage photo. Yes, I still need to just whip round it with vintage photo first. Okay, and I need to do these with both. Okay, so we'll just quickly get that done. I forgot about them. Okay, so front and back, the little flap. On that one. I thought there would have been enough. Okay, so the front down there, and then on the back. And that. We've done that. Okay. So now we just go around it quickly with vintage photo and then we are done. So just want to go around this. This is the cover. Just down that line and that line and then on the inside. I do love the inside of this. Kind of glad it didn't work out on the front. Let's just go down there and down there. A bit darker. Down there and down that crease there. That was better. Um, quickly around here. don't need to do this if you manage to cut it out and better than I did <laughs> and of course you don't need to go around it twice it just looks nicer or at least I think it does anyway the vintage photo and the fossilized amber go really well together and it just gives it a bit of something makes it look a bit more finished Okay, and we're done for now. All right, so I just had them clipped so that they'd stay reasonably flat. Um, but I have done everything. I haven't done the insides of these. Don't need to do the inside of them because you know we're going to be writing in them the little notelets, note cards. Okay, so let's just reinforce them little folds again. Lovely. Alright, so now I think there's nine of each and we are not going to get all nine of them in there without this really bulging. So we need to narrow it down to I think about five. So let's see. So that one for definite. That's, that's a nice one that. That's a nice plain one. That's okay. Another plain one. Another plain one. That's actually upside down. Alright, okay, so we could do it that way. Okay, so that's quite a decorated one. Not quite sure which way this one goes. I believe it's that way. Alright, there's a B on that one. Not sure about that one actually. It's kind of crawling out of the flower, so the inside of the flower, so I'm not sure which way that one should go. Okay, there's a bee on that one, just coming up the front of it. Right, so we've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's ten. 
so there should be 10 of these and I didn't do too bad with these with the pattern placements I actually managed to get them fairly okay so there's a bee on the back of that one I managed to get that with the right in the right way which is cool obviously it's a bit upside down there where we folded it up but having it the right way on the front is pretty cool so that's fairly plain on the front but it's got a bee on the back that's got a bee on the front and on the back the plain one not too bad bit of a decorated one this one yep managed to get the bee on the back pretty much the right way up fairly plain one that's the first one that we did another plain one there and the bee on that one I did this with this one like I told you not to in the first place and I glued across the hair um, I managed to sort it but I actually glued that shut right at the beginning I'm going to stick that with the plain one I know it's got to be on but it's still fairly plain and a bit of glue bits there but yeah and there's a bee on the back of that one so right so we've got five fairly plain ones and five quite decorative ones let's see Sorry, I think I butted you. Let's see if we can pair them up. Not that it matters too much, but... So... I think we'll go with the decorative ones with the plainer ones and the plainer ones with the more decorative ones because we can add something onto the front. You could add something onto the front of the envelopes as well, but you could add something on the front of that. So, that one's not too bad. Where are we at with these? Let's have a look. I think they're fairly... Not plain, but not as decorative as them. Like, right, them. So, I think these... Yeah, I'm going to keep them five together. And we're going to put these in with these ones. So... quite a busy one so I'm going to put that one and that one together this one and let's just have that no what's it like on the back let's have that one and that one together it doesn't actually really matter but let's have that one and that one together put that one and this one together and then them two together okay so that's five there and then these let's sort these out okay so we've got this one can go with I think this one because they come off the same sheet of paper anyway so them two can go together this really plain one can go with this plain yellow one okay that's quite a decorative one scored a bit skewiffy on this one and this one it just about pokes out bottom there but it'll be all right um so we're left with the really plain ones now. Let's see. So let's go for them. No, let's go for them two together. Let's put them two together and then these two together. Okay, actually, no, that's too much, matchy them two together and them two together okay and that's another five so I'm going to mix and match now so it's like playing cards this and then I'm actually going to shuffle them because I cannot make my mind up what order I want them in or anything so I am literally just going to shuffle them up and we'll get you know we'll just go with what we get so one two three 
four, five. Uh, well, that worked. <laughs> Ugh, okay, let's put them back together. Let's have a do at shuffling them again. What are you doing, cat? Let's try again now. One, two, three, four, five. That's not working, is it? That method's not working right well, is it, guys? Right, so that one. That one. That one. That one. And let's go for that one. All right. So we'll go for them. And then we're five that are left over. So we could actually use another sheet of paper, make another cover and make another one. Okay, so that's cool. Right, so we've got these together now, but then we're going to separate them because we want the envelopes on one side and the cards on the other, but we're going to keep them in the same sequence. Okay, so envelope, journal card, not journal card, envelope, that and that and that. Are they right way? Yes, they're all going the right way. They're all going the right way. Nice one, but I don't want that on top. I think I want... I think I want that one on top, so that's the back one. No, it's not. Oh, what am I doing here? Got them mixed up now. Got the envelopes the wrong way. Okay, that way that way, that way, and that one on top. Oh, that's a bit plain. Put that one there, right. Right, never mind. We'll put them like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to bring in the scraps. And that's one that I scored completely wrong. completely wrong too short um okay so now we need like a scrap a couple of scraps to use as the belly bands so that's quite pretty i think that would look nice on that side that would be nice there but let's see what else we've got that could be okay that's too much you might actually the same, not too much the same. Well, that's not too bad. Right, let's have a look at what we've got. Okay, so I think when I did them, I did it like one inch thick. I need a straight line on this, I don't know if that's straight. Sorry, I think I just had butted you again. Right, it's straight now. Okay, let's just chop the ends off. Ouch. Without chopping my nail off. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. It's the only one I've got left. Right. Is that an inch? I'm not sure. Not far off, it'll do. Probably a bit shorter, but that's fine. Just cut a bit off the end of it. So what we need to do now is get these together as tightly compact as we can and we're using this one aren't we? Okay so we need to 
looks better that way. Nice to keep them together. Paper clip helps. Well, it does when you don't bend it. Okay, so keep them together and then pop this across the middle and then lay it down, bring it over and fold, and bring it over and fold. Now that's too big, so let's cut some off, let's fold that back on itself and we need it to overlap a little bit so let's fold that back on itself there okay and cut these flaps off Plenty big enough. Okay. Okay. Now we can use oops, we can use this one to cut this one. There we go. And then we just need some glue again with the Tombow glue. Again, put the paper clip back on, wrap it around, make it fairly central, and I'm going to pop a bit of glue here, and then a little bit of glue here on the end, line them up. There we go. Okay, that's okay. Make sure it slides because obviously you need to you need to be able to slide these in and out. Yeah, so it's got a bit of wriggle room. Okay, that's cool. Loving that. And then we do the same for these bunch them together and then I like that I like it that way there okay so I'll fold over there at the back fold over at the back and I like the blue bit better so we'll put the blue bit on top again A little bit of glue on there, and then a little bit of glue on the end here, and then get them to overlap but join. Obviously, you don't want them to touch the cards, otherwise, the cards will stick to them. Again, make sure they've got some slide, some wriggle room. Yep, perfect. Okay, paper clip off. Yeah, that's nice. And then we glue them to the inside of the cover. I'm going to say journal again then. <laughs> okay, so we'll just pretty much centralise that. And then this bit's easy because all you do now is you just pop a bit of glue on the back part here. Just right across the back. Look like it were coming out right and fairly centralize the belly band where you want it to go and then centralize ish the envelopes in the middle of the cover not so bad with the tombow glue you've got time to move it around and wriggle if it's slightly out you can move it unlike art glitter glue 
and Fabri-Tac uh, Fabri or Fabri-Fix or three in one. Okay, awesome. See, it's nicely in there. Nice wriggle room in it, but not enough for it to come out. Okay, and then they do the same with this one. This one's easier because these journal card journal cards, note cards, or journal cards. Because <laughs> of course you could actually slip this. This is small enough and compact enough to actually put into a journal, really, if you wanted to. So yes, you could use these as journal cards, as I keep telling you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so and you just put them in. You can line. It looks better if you do actually tend to get them the same width and then line them up but it doesn't ultimately matter really as long as you get them fairly central in your cover and there you go there we have it guys push them up actually i don't think it's quite tight enough but never mind okay and there you have it there's your little notelet set made from the darling bees kit now yes you can decorate the front and let's go ahead and have a go at doing that whilst I've got time. It is 8 or 5 p.m. here. Um, now what do I want to put on the front? Let's have a look through the pack. Not the pack, the kit. Let's clear all this out of the way now. And again you've got five of each left there which is what we've used in here so you could use these pages to make another journal cover and then put them inside to make two um notelet sets sorry lost my train of thought there oh dear me i apologize um it's these new meds that my doctor has put me on i mean i was never that great at keeping my train of thought in the first place but now i'm absolutely horrendous Okay, so I think I really, I really like the mason jars, but I think that's too big to go on there. Oh, small ones. I forgot about the small ones. Okay, so we've got small ones there and tiny labels, and I'm liking the look of that. I'm going to put that on as well. What about the tag? I wonder if we've got tags. I just want to... Experiment a minute, let's have a look. I'm not sure if this is the one that I printed to to a page or whether this is one of the small tags. Oh yes, it just fits. Okay, I'm not sure whether this is one that I printed to to a page or if it Oh yeah, it's two to a page. You can see the the two logos. Okay, so let's have a look at the tags. So we've got the nice decorative ones going on here. I like this one. I really like that one. same ones in really teeny tiny miniature. We have a pocket. Oh, mm, that's interesting. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, them, as I printed two to a page, then small tags are really tiny now. And the pockets are, I wonder if the pocket would fit on the... Let's have a look and see if one of these pockets will fit. Because if the pocket will fit, all we need to do really is just cut the ephemera out and put it in. Because they could add that as extra writing stuff to put inside the note cards. Where are 
are you? Where are you? Where are you? So, let's go with the compass. There it is. Surely that's going to fit on the front of there. Of course it does. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so that's going on there then. And then I wanted... What I was looking for, I don't know. I just had it. So what if I don't want it? I want it. Oh, it's in this one, isn't it? I'll keep them out to one side. Where did that mason jar? Okay, where did I see it? Oh, mason jars. Tanks. Where did I see it? I saw it there and I was going to cut it out and now I can't find it. It was one of the pages. What did I do with the pages? Oh no, it can't be one of the pages because we've used them. It was one of the pages on the other kit. Ah, there we go. Here we are. That one. I think it was that one, but it was one of them that I was looking at. Yeah, it was one of them that I was looking at. Okay, so. Okay, sorry guys. And then I will just quickly go off camera and cut out some of these ephemera pieces. Hey guys, okay so I have cut out some uh, bits and pieces of ephemera that I think will go okay and yes these little ones are now actually way too small. Hold on. That makes quite a nice little collage on there. Oh, actually, I really like that. <laughs> Leave it there and don't touch it. Stay there. Don't breathe. Okay. <laughs> Mason, you love it. Yes, so. Right. So these tags are too small now. Right. So I've got some little journal card type things. Diddly little pieces of journal tags and some more labels which we probably won't use but these are okay so I'm just going to ink around these with vintage photo excuse me oh before I do because these are like little journal cards I'm going to round the corners I know I know but I have to Let's 
playing my cardboard box in the background if you can hear that. Alright, another one here. Okay, so I got the wrong one actually. Oh, okay. Oops. Hey dude. It's been a while since you've come to say hello on camera. Even though you're not on camera. Ready? Hey. He's creeping in. Kit cats are here to say hello, which means the kitten's probably gonna follow. Seeing as how they're inseparable. Okay. I'm not gonna go around these with the fossilized amber. I am just going to use the vintage photo. done and then I will do that with a collage piece. Stick the pocket on the front and then these can just sit in the pocket. And we are done. Yep, here comes the kitten. Hey Coda. Hey. Hey Pickle. What are you doing? Before I ink around this, I'm going to get my one and a half inch paper punch and I'm going to strangle the cats because everything's going to go scooting off in a second. Okay. I'm going to find, I'll just take a little divot out of it. Actually, that worked out fairly central. Take a little divot out of it there. And then ink it again. That's cool. That's better. And then I fussy cut the little bee out from the journal page. I've used one of the tiny labels and one of the tiny mason jars. Hi Michelle, if you heard it in the background my phone's just pinged on Facebook, Facebook Messenger, it's Michelle <laughs> messaging me. Okay, I'm just going to ink around the B and I'm going to plop some ink on the B as well. And I think we're done, except I want one of these, oh my gosh, the cats are destroying my room. I want one of these blue labels on the top, so um, I actually like it with this one, the decorated one. <laughs> Thank you, Kit. I really appreciate that. Oh. <sighs> Don't you just love animals? Don't worry, guys. Nothing broken. Just a little plastic tub that I've got screwdrivers and stuff in. Okay, and I am actually on the B. I am going to just go over it a little bit with the fossilised amber. Okay, grungy it up a bit. Glue. 
All right, so I'll glue on pocket. Pocket on cover. Oops. Fairly central and straight, of course. I'm on the Tombow glue at the moment because my Aileen's uh, Anita's tacky glue has dried up. It hasn't dried up, but it's clogged up. My PVA glue is just too watery for this. My Fabri-Tac has clogged up. My glue stick is all cloggy as well. I only have that much art glitter glue, glue left, and again, that one's clogged up. So I'm not having a right deal of luck with glue at the moment, but the Tombow glue works really good. It just takes quite a while to dry. So centralise that above the pocket. Just press that down firmly a bit. A bit of rub. There you go, see it's fairly in place now. Okay, I'm just going to get my ruler and go down the inside of the pocket, make sure I haven't glued anywhere that shouldn't be. Yes, it goes all the way down to the bottom, that's good. On the sides. Yeah. Cool beans. Right, so I just need to pop a bit of glue there because I've just lifted it with the ruler. Squish that down with my fingers a minute. Okay. Right, now how did I do the collage? <laughs> I had that there. I had that there. And I just threw the bee on there. Or something like that. I think it was... Something. I can't remember how I did it now. Like that. Mm -hmm. Let's just put it on and hope for the best then. Let's pop that up there. everything around your desk. Let's pop that across there. Like that. And then I'm not sure I like that bean now I've inked it. So Here's the sheet. It's here with another bee on it. Smaller one, but that might be okay. Let's see. considering I haven't got my glasses on. Watch me cut its leg off from it now. Oh, we made it. Yay. Yeah, no, I'm liking it better now without the inking. Okay, 
So, although I am just going to go around the edge very lightly. Because it does need to stand out a little bit. Yes, okay, and then we're just going to pop him on there. Go a little bee dude. And I think I want some numbers in there. Where's my little teeny stamps? Hmm. Now there's a question. a question but I managed to answer it. <laughs> Got some teeny number stamps here so let's have These are little tiny click stamps. I have alphabet ones there as well, they're really cool. But these numbers are tiny numbers there. And what have we got here? Two. Okay. So, one, three, four, nine. Is that big enough, do we think? I don't think it is. Mm. Yeah. We'll be all right. Okay, let's take these envelopes out and then I can get it flat. And we're going to use archival ink. Let's use the black soot. My favourite one for stamping with. Also, it matches in with all this black. Didn't know they did that. Okay. <laughs> That's upside down. Didn't know they slid in and out like that. Okay. So right. Not stamping okay. I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. Go for it. Oh, I'm happy with that. It's not too small at all, it's just right. Okay, 13 or 9. Anybody know the reason? Comments, answers in the comments below. Specific number. Yeah. 
sorry guys I'm just putting them back together and then I can stick them in the box okay so there we go cute little box to put them in as well and as I said I have alphabet ones here bigger ones which are cool I need a new box to keep them because that's broken all right but I am actually super happy with that oh actually super happy with that yeah so I'm going to get them out actually in my alphabet ones and I'm going to spelled honey <laughs> wrong kind of honey <sighs> hmm and I'm not gonna be able to Need another N and I haven't got one. Got the Y. I wonder if I can match them up. That, I suppose. Stamp it backwards now. Well, that's not too bad. completely forgot how to spell honey I had it right the first time <laughs> oh my gosh like honey as in honey that you eat I've completely forgotten how to spell it right it's staying like that anyway and if it's the wrong spelling I'll just cover it over with another label 
I've completely forgotten how to spell it. My brain's just gone completely blank. I thought I had it right the first time, but it didn't look right. Um, okay. I'll Google it later and then... If it's not right... If that's not right, then I'll cover that with another label. <laughs> I'll go over it. We'll layer it up. Oh, well, we've got another blue one there. Um, yeah, anyway. Right, so. Now that's all done, we can use the pocket to add all of these ephemera pieces into like so see it covers it up anyway so okay I like that and the mason jar fits as well so that gets to go in too and then the tag can go in right at the back oh love it and this one can squash down in there I love it that is just really cool okay so there we go guys oh I've just squashed everything back down but never mind Right, uh, uh. anywho, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so there we have our little notelets set with the um, Darling Bees kit. And I'm just going to quickly grab my Tim Holtz set, my... Um, Do, 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 do. It's not condemned. I always want to call it condemned, and it's not. It is the field note. Come out. The field notes set. Like I said, I always want to call it condemned. And I'm going to pop. Which one? This one. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to pop this one on the back. Okay. Just going to stamp that in there. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Yes, I'm very happy with that. We need another label on it. I don't know, I like that there. What can we have in that? Okay. Let's just quickly go around there.
with some vintage photo just enough just what was left on the dauber Glue on there, pop that there, then I'm just going to use this one Oop, on that. We're going to do it as a stamp off so it's a bit faded oh I love it yes perfect okay and now I'm done everything's falling apart but I'm done now I'm happy now getting ink everywhere now yes I am happy now guys so let me come up to the camera and show you so we have created this gorgeous little notelet set from the darling bees kit I really want to stamp across there now but I won't not yet and um, yeah so there we go guys there's the little cover inside and out and here's our paper uh, envelopes and note cards to go in those envelopes like so there we go oh so cool love it There we are. Yes, love it. Thank you, Tracy, for doing your original notelets step your notelets set because this just looks so cool done as that. And honestly, by doing this you could do it with any of Tracy's kits. It would look cool. I still love that little buzzy bee in there. I'm glad that didn't go and end up on the front page but yeah so there we are guys <laughs> a bit long-winded video with a few mishaps along the way as per usual in my videos but there we are guys there is my September craft craft creative design team project for Tracy Fox Tracy Rulton Fox I say over at Tracy Fox creative and yes thank you so much for watching guys thank you Tracy for Again, having me on your team and trusting me to play with your kits. And oh, thank you again for your beautiful Nautlets design, Nautlets kit idea. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go. <laughs> so take care, guys. Stay safe and I will speak to you all again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.